Hello again. Many years ago, I used to be an ardent fan of The Eagle, a magazine for boys, and my favourite character was Dan Dare. His arch rival was the Mekon, a green man who had a very large head and sat on a flying saucer. I forget where he came from, was it Mars? Perhaps some more informed fan could let me know, please. Why all this interest in Dan Dare? When you think back to the space adventures in recent time, the Beagle didn't phone home and some of the American probes didn't quite work out. And the former president, George Bush, launched a mini Star Trek program to the moon and Mars. And our interest out there has increased. But within all the hype, my mind goes back to the first few, first few words set on the moon. One small step by man, one large stride for mankind. As Armstrong confirmed that the moon wasn't made of cheese. But what interested me in those astronauts was their humanity and their faith in Christ. Perhaps you recall hearing the broadcast from Apollo spacecraft. In the beginning was the word, the prologue from John's Gospel. Also, I recall that Dan Dare and his sidekick Digby found an old spacecraft in a junkyard and rebuilt it. They named it Anastasia, which I found out at Theological College meant resurrection. From that scrapyard came a new spaceship. And from the rubbish heap outside Jerusalem on a hill called Golgotha came new life in the resurrection of Christ. And because of that resurrection, we are given new life. We are lifted out of the junkyard of our lives because they are risen into Christ. I rue the parting of Dan Dare, but I like the image of a new life in Christ. And I hope I approach it with the humility that we have seen in some of those early American astronauts. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have given us new life. You have given us resurrection by us being one with your Son. Help us to have lives of humility as we wonder the awesome gift you gave us of your Son. And help us to follow him all our days. Amen.